Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I'm just going to get the last couple of things set up. Hello. Uh, so I, <laughs> I just, I'm having, a, I just, I haven't looked at myself today. So I'm very much just like, oh, that's what I look like today. Interesting. Um, hello. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Uh, welcome to another chill writing stream. Um, uh, you're getting a very tired version of me today. Uh, just so um, I was, I was doing. I was on a film shoot at the weekend. I was, I was doing a sound recording on a film shoot, and uh, it was like 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Saturday and Sunday after what had been a very busy week. So I'm a little bit exhausted today, um, but I was very much, very much wanting to do the stream and finish finish off these scripts because we've only got two episodes left so i don't think it'll take us too long um but i'm but uh, otherwise i'm good i'm excited to be here and doing this i apologize if my eyes don't open fully um mysterious how are you doing good morning going to be in and out today while i catch up on some early work stuff on the side but looking forward to the good vibes fair enough you know this is this is very much just a chill work these, these seem to be turning into chill work streams which i'm okay with um yeah, I have I have a few announcements today about the um, about the audio drama about the Anamnesis audio drama. Um, I have a big casting announcement, which is very exciting um, because I, basically after the last stream, I was having a think about how to move forward with this, and um, you know what what um, what I kind of wanted to do with this audio drama, and and came up with a few interesting, fun ideas. Um, so I'll have a big cast announcement in a bit, and then um, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, a couple of other parts as well that I, I've had an interesting idea about um, that I'll kind of be posting about the rest of the week, so you're the first people to hear about it. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll probably talk about that in a second. Um, but yeah, so uh, what are we doing today? We are uh, going to be working on our... Um, submission into the Anamnesis Jam. We've been working on this for a while now. We're just at the end of the scripting process. Uh, so um, we we are, I think we're three episodes into a five episode uh, series, a five episode mini series. Um, what we did is we played a game of Anamnesis, um, which is a solo journaling game for one player where you use tarot cards to, uh, to write your, as prompts to write a story. It's a fantastic game. Uh, uh, there's a link if you type in exclamation mark uh, or a command um, anamnesis uh, you will get you'll get a link to the uh, get a link to the game page and yeah so it's running a they're running a jam from November through to January and we're turning it we're, we played a game and now we're turning it into an audio drama of which we are three episodes into a five episodes because there's five acts in the game so there's there's gonna be five episodes of this audio drama and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to making it. So it means that um, depending on how much change, how many changes we need to get to the script. Um, e Gabriels, hello, fantastic! So glad you could be here. Thank you so much for for coming along. Um, I'm having a very chill Monday. Uh, I hope you are also having a good one. Um, I, I see that you have an emoji that is cozied up with a hot drink. That is exactly the vibe that we're going for tonight. Um, it's just going to be some chill music. And, uh, and some writing. And hopefully some fun chat as well. Tang Whistle is here as well. Fantastic. Wonderful for you to be here. 
Uh, literally just recapping, and then we're gonna we're gonna get into some exciting announcements and new things. So uh, let's talk about let's talk about the casting very quickly. Uh, I'll just put this on there. So um, initially, the plan was that I was gonna voice act in this. The the, the plan was that I was gonna kind of do what I did with tin can and do everything myself tin can was my first audio drama um do all the things myself do voices sound design music do do the whole shebang kind of to prove to myself that i'm still able to do that um just because after doing the tower part three and a couple of other very very big projects um i kind of really wanted to go back to basics and kind of go like you know i used to i used to be able to make things and not have to wait around for people to tell me I could do them, I could just make them. And that was very much the, the thinking process behind this. Um, but the more I thought, after the last stream, I was kind of thinking about it, and, and the more I thought about it, the more I was kind of like, well, do I want to do that? Is that the best thing for this audio drama? Is that the best thing for this story? Or am I just being stubborn? Uh, most of the time when I have that thought, it's me being stubborn. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to admit this. Um, so I had to think and um creative freedom is priceless i do love it like it's it's one of the reasons i enjoy doing these streams just making music that's not connected to anything uh and it's why i'm really enjoying this project because it is my, it, it has the best of both worlds right so i'm not be I'm, I'm not you know i'm getting to make this i'm getting to make it on my own terms i'm getting to kind of go at my own pace do it my own way but there is also a deadline Otherwise, there's no pressure. That's the perfect, like that's the perfect way for this for this to be. The perfect thing for this to be. I'm I'm, I'm not known for being stubborn. Um, <laughs> but yes. So the more I thought about it, the more I sort of thought, well, you know, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to to do this right. And also from a streaming perspective, I thought it would be more useful rather than have. Because um, the thing is, right, so I, I, re I had to do some voice acting last week for, for um, a show that I'm, I'm not sure I'm allowed to talk about yet. Um, but uh, it was just, it, like, the way I treat voice acting is that if somebody asks me if I want to voice act in something, I will, I will most likely say yes. Because I do enjoy it, I do enjoy it, but it's not an area, it's not something I actively pursue. It's not something that I think I'm particularly good at. It was something I did out of necessity, and now I'm kind of at the the I'm kind of in the position where I can kind of get to choose the do the things that I really like doing, um, and kind of focus a bit more on on one particular aspect of the process. Um, but so with that in mind, I sort of thought, well, you know, I, surely it'll be more useful rather than me sitting in front of a microphone saying lines over and over again and going nope, and then deleting them and then trying again. Surely it'd be more useful to to show how I run a recording session with with actors, um, and uh, so I went to the, you know, one of the people I I you're not giving <laughs> you're not giving yourself enough credit. You're a great VA. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, and 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 you know, I I think I'm I think I'm okay. If you if you give me a script, I will do a good job. But I just don't think I have the competencies and uh, uh, the range to kind of fully be a voice actor. But if people ask me, I will. I will do it. You know, like. Um, anyway, uh, so before I before I started this project, before I started writing, before I played the game, I I tagged a few actors, and I sort of messaged them and said, "Look, there might be extra parts in this. If there was going to be extra parts, would you be interested?" I was very happy to hear that most of them said yes, um, and one of the people I tagged. Uh, was Mark Galley, who plays Ike in The Tower. And since, since I mean, Mark is a fantastic writer, fantastic voice actor, and um, we don't get to work together enough on things, frankly. And after we made part three and after we did the live show, um, Mark was very much just like, look, if you, ha if you have anything else that you want to work on, I will happily work on it. I want to do more stuff like and I, working with Mark is also very, very good. Mark is very good at what he does. He's a fantastic voice actor. If you've listened to The Tower, you already know how good a voice actor Mark is. Um, but I sort of I sort of said, look, there might be a part that might not be. So after the streams last week, I thought, well, you know, I think Mark would do a really good job 
as as the as the sort of narrator character in this in this story um and i've spoken to mark and mark is up for it so uh you know if you when when if you're reading these lines if you're reading this script um it's going to be mark galley uh performing these lines rather than rather than myself and and i'm very very excited to 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 see how mark interprets this this story and to see uh to see which direction mark takes it um mainly because i think mark galley should be in more things and i think mark galley should have much more of mark galley should get much more work as a voice actor um and and should be much more well known in the indie audio drama space because because mark is fantastic at what he does um and he's also delightfully weird so yeah i'm absolutely uh very very excited to bring to bring mark galley on board to 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 do this to do this audio drama it's very very exciting um the other thing as well thank you tang whistle i'm, I'm, I'm glad you agree like uh so uh for, for to kind of follow up on that very quickly so if we get the scripts finished tonight which i hope we do if we get the episode four and five written which i don't having read over things it, it is mostly monologue for episodes four and five so i don't think i don't think we'll have any trouble getting them finished um the next thing that we're going to be doing later on this week on wednesday is that mark's going to be jumping on a call and we're going to be doing a read through and the kind of purpose of the read through will be to uh kind of first of all just see how the script is going to sound um and, and kind of get start getting an idea of the tone of the piece um and then we're also going to uh also means we can make some notes on the script some lines might read a bit weird it means we can figure those out um and then uh and it also means that mark is bringing his perspective to the script and um we can kind of run it like an r d like we did for the tower part three where we'll kind of go right well um you know uh uh what's what's not working for you what what do you think works for your character what do you think is not working for your character is there anything that you think we should explore more that um that isn't currently being explored in the script and for something like this, I think that's really important because uh, Mark will be coming at it from a place of I haven't played the game, I don't know the rules of the game, I don't have that experience. So I think Mark is going to be coming at this much more as a writer and an actor, um, which I think is what we need, frankly. So that's very exciting. Uh, I also have another announcement for uh, later on. Um, for, let me take this out. For. Uh, for some extra things because in the in the script we've got lots of um lots of things about uh, uh let's see if we can find an example kind of various voices and whispers and things and uh little memories and little scraps of things that come in every so often in the background and uh, so and i thought it might be fun to ask our wonderful supporters on Kofi and the members of the Tin Can Audio Discord, as well as a few friends, um, if they would like to lend their voices to this project. So if you are if you are a monthly member on our Kofi or you are currently in the Tin Can Audio uh, Discord server, um, I'll, I'll be writing up some posts and sending out uh, some uh, some invitations, basically. Um, and some ideas about lines and things to read. So, um, because I think that would be quite fun because th this this is being made as a, as a very public project that's being made as a... Um, and I feel like it is, to a certain extent, being shaped by the experience of writing it while being accompanied by, by listeners. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, like Dan Russell said, I think it's exciting. And I think it, it, it'd be good to... Um, to kind of give the people who are watching and listening to this being made more of an input, and I think this is this is a good way of of of, of doing that. So, um, if you are a monthly member of our Kofi, uh, you will be getting this. Sounds like an amazing community project. Thank you, E. Gabriels. I, I think I think it's a fun thing. Um, I'll be posting about it on Kofi and on Discord tomorrow. Uh, and if you're watching and you are not already part of this, uh, there's a there's a, a little thing somewhere on the screen 
Um, Kofi.com slash tin can audio. You can sign up and then you get access to our Discord server. Um, that's mostly cat pictures and memes, which I'm okay with. Um, and uh, and then also you get uh, early access to everything, and then you also get some kind of bonus community posts as well, uh, and also the opportunity to be in a tin can audio audio drama, which which is you know I I I'm assuming if you're okay becoming a member, I'm assuming that's a pretty cool thing. Anyway, enough sales stuff, enough selling stuff. That's that's uh, so that's something that'll be coming in the in the next few weeks. I need to work out the, the logistics of it, but that's kind of that's what's coming up. Um, I do have one more thing to talk about before we before we start. Uh, so uh, if you are in the UK and uh, you are able to get to the wonderful place of High Wycombe, a place that I've never been, but I will be going to, uh, I'm going to be doing a workshop. I'm going to be doing a workshop on podcast editing uh, at the audio drama. I'm going to, where's the where's the where's the thing at the audio drama hub Podfest in High Wycombe. Uh, this coming weekend, the 19th and the 20th of November. Um, I'm going to be doing a editing workshop on the Sunday, Sunday the 20th. I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to be talking about all aspects of editing from from uh, from vocal cuts to uh, sound design to mixing and a whole lot of uh, little tips and tricks that I've kind of picked up on the way. Um, I will probably also be doing a version of that workshop right here on Twitch as well. Um, just because, you know, I've got the slides, I might as well use them. Um, and I'll be, put, you know, any kind of recordings I'll hopefully be putting up on, on, on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, I'm, there's also a couple of panels on the Saturday. Uh, I'm going to be on one or both of them. Uh, still a thing being worked out. Uh, we, there's also a keynote speech from Dirk Mags, who is a personal hero of mine. Dirk Mags is is kind of the person that was very was very much just like this this is this is how you make audio drama this is how you do things um, a very key influence in doing what I do and how I approach what I do. Um, I'm very scared at the prospect that I might actually get to meet Dirk Mags, uh, <laughs> and the person the person I normally go to. To these events who's very good at speaking to people isn't going so i'm gonna i'm on my own to a certain extent which is a little bit scary uh i'm very kind of scared at the prospect of meeting meeting a, a, a personal hero um if you don't know who dirk mags is so dirk mags is the producer behind the tertiary the tertiary quandary and quintessential phase of the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy radio series and is also the producer and sound designer behind the Sandman series from Audible. They've also done alien audio dramas as well as Superman, Batman, just lots of like very, very big budget audio drama um, productions. It's just very, very cool. Very cool guy. Um, but that, that's coming up this weekend. So if you are in the UK, I'll be hanging around all weekend. Uh, I managed to, you know, I managed to to crack the code and managed to make make it work with the trains. As far as I'm aware, there's going to be no train strikes that weekend. I really hope they're not. Otherwise, I could be stuck literally anywhere between Glasgow and um, and London. I'm having to make so many stops, and there's a couple of stopovers and things. I could get stuck anywhere. <laughs> so, please hold me in your thoughts uh, this weekend. Anyway, that is enough. That is enough chat for me. Let us get to let's get on with the writing. So uh, we are on episode four. Now we're going to do our very, nope, it's control, isn't it? To do a page. Oh, I thought I had, oh, I was so pleased. Was it not doing that? Can I insert, how does it page break? I thought it was. Oh no, is this because I changed it to web view? Is that what I did? Okay. Um. I don't think it's going to let me now, is it? See, I, ch I changed it to, uh, I changed it from page, I basically got rid of the page, vo page view. Just because I just didn't really think it was very relevant, but I don't know. I might be stuck. Oh well. Act four. Let's get this. Let's get this copied. 
Can I copy the page break? Is it going to let me do that? So we ended, last time we ended on uh, the main character who we've kind of called Anam, doesn't really have a, have a proper name. Um, picking up a photo and finding on the back the words, find me. Um, and in act four, we're going to kind of continue exploring the house that uh, once belonged to, to the character. Um, then this will also be the... the um, We did most of most of these streams are formatting. I'm very I've become very aware of that in the past. Oh no! In the past wee while. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have somebody actually say these lines, which are the the headings from the um, headings from the 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 game the the game chapters. Uh, and also the kind of extra dialogue, the like echoes of memories and things are going to be quotes from the book. Uh, and the creator of the game, um, Goblin Mixtape, Sam Lee, has very generously um, allowed me to kind of chop up the audiobook version of Anamnesis for the for the audio drama as well, which um, which I'm also looking forward to because it's a very good audiobook and I and I like the idea of kind of almost almost as like a kind of side project. Um, from this is kind of adding soundtrack underneath explanations of the rules for anamnesis. Um, I like that idea. I really, really like that idea. Right, so act four. Again, I think, so these bits kind of here. Um, we're going to be able to get rid of a lot of this, just because this this a lot of this is just describing stuff that has happened. You know, this whole bit. I find myself wandering up the creaking stairs of, up to a bedroom. There is only a bed frame and a mattress. On a bedside table held up by four thin wooden legs is a small cassette player. With a tape inside, I lie down, I lie down on the bed and press play. You can just communicate that through audio. You don't have to, to, to really narrate any of that, you know? Um... Once again, demonstrating the difference between audiobooks and audio drama. <laughs> uh, curse living across the pond. I feel your pain. Like I said, I will. I'd like as far as I'm aware, the workshops are being recorded, but um, I will also be doing a stream where I, I go through the. Um, I basically do the. I'll do the presentation again, but on Twitch. Um, it, it, I've only, it's only an hour long, the presentation, the, the workshop is only an hour long, but I can obviously extend it um, and add more examples and talk a bit more about things. Because, because the, the thing is, because I'm on, because it'll be on Twitch, I, I can actually talk a bit more about things, I can show you examples, I can demonstrate some of the tricks that I'm talking about um, a lot easier. So you, if anything, you're getting a, a sort of director's cut version on Twitch um, when, when that eventually happens. Uh, okay, so this is episode four. I think I'm probably going to end up changing these back to acts just so I don't need to record any more. Don't need to record episode titles again. I can just sort of take them from take them from the audiobook. But that's 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 for later. That's for formatting it. That's for formatting problems. Um, okay. This is sound. Creaking staircase. Open door opening. See, hmm. Do we need to point out this? Is, I, I, I don't know. This is very much a question I need to, to work out. Um, I feel like I need to point out that it's a bedroom that we're walking into. Because as, as much as like if I hear somebody going upstairs and into a room, my brain sort of subconsciously connects like, oh, it's a, going up to a bedroom. Oh no, my stream froze up. I'm still here. I don't know if that's... I'm still here. It says everything's fine. It's still rolling. Hold on. If it, if it stops working for everyone else, let me know and I'll, I'll see if I, can, if I can fix it. But as far as I'm aware, I think we're still rolling okay. Um... 
Just making noises now. So I literally just said, oh, we can... We can cut most of this. Uh... Right, so I'm running up to a bit. I need to. Um, what are we doing? Wandering, wandering up the stairs to a bedroom. Um, and then. Sitting on a bed. Pressing play, and then on a tape player, on a cassette, I'll say a cassette player just to be very, very clear. Now we get to get to use some of my favorite sounds. I get to use tape sounds and I get to get some music. Um, music, uh, lying down. On a bed. Lying down on a bed is a surprisingly difficult sound effect to communicate because bed, bed sheets don't really make that much noise. Um, so much of the noise happens internally rather than externally when you're rolling around in bed. Um, so it's a difficult one to try and communicate to, to a listener. Um, but I've done it before and I dare say we'll have to do it again for this. Close my eyes and think about all that I've learned. Okay, we can keep that. None of it fits quite fits together. I'm still not sure about any of it. I think we can. I have a weighted blanket, so getting in bed sounds like moving sand for me. <laughs> it hasn't quite got cold enough here for the weighted blanket just yet, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely kind of almost getting there. I think. See, I, I was very much one of these people who been like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand why, why would a weighted blanket make any difference? And then, and then we got one, and then I sort of tried it out for the first time. Like, oh no, I get it now. I get it. Like, I, I, I'm very kind of shifty, and, and my anxiety uh, can get quite bad when I'm um, trying to get to sleep. Um, so, yeah, just have, having something that kind of hold, like gently holding you down for a bit, I think is, is, is quite a cool thing. I'm just like, oh, I get it. I get it now. This is very useful. I'm being lightly restrained by a blanket. I quite like that. Um, I love my 30 pound monstrosity. <laughs> that's, a, that's, such a, that's just a wonderful line, I think. Um, okay, I think we can add it, do it, how have we, have I labeled these before? There we go, that's the, I'm gonna add in that sound again. Just because I think anything we can do, so when I'm kind of writing a script, the way I kind of see it is like anything Trying to find as much of the story that can be communicated through sound rather than than and this this is especially true for monologues, things that can be communicated through sound rather than through speech. And that that's that sounds quite bad. <laughs> that, that sounds like what the, the 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 vocals don't matter, the dialogue doesn't matter. Like, of course they matter. But the great thing about audio drama is, in the same way that you know, in in cinema, you show, you don't tell. It's a similar principle here. You know, if, if there's something that you can communicate to the listener without having to say anything, that's, you should do that. You know, I, that, that's my opinion at least. I don't think, I think it's much, it's much more effective <coughs> to let the, the sound design do as much of the storytelling. It, it's more effective to let the sound design play an active part in the storytelling 
and using environmental storytelling to 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 communicate elements of the narrative rather than having everything spelled out you know I, I think letting the listeners come to the conclusions themselves I think is more powerful than, than kind of laying it out but um, right okay where we go I came here to find someone but why did why did they come here okay there we go I came here to find someone, but why did they, why did they come here? Were they also looking for someone? Is this why people tried to stop us? Okay, and then you see th this scene here, this line here, for instance, um, I open my eyes and look at the photograph. In prose, that works, and it would. I think it would work as a monologue. But I think we have the opportunity here to um, to turn that into a sound, rather than, or, or, or at least reduce it from a line of dialogue into into a sound. Um, you know, having a hand, having that sound of looking at a photograph, and then having. Um, I'm kind of quietly uh, quietly to self Is it a, I don't know why I'm saying to self because it, <laughs> I feel like it's, it's kind of a given at this point oh excuse me um Once again, we're mostly formatting at this point. Text, uh, paragraph, single. I know this is very silly, but this, this is the kind of thing that bothers me when I'm writing. about there must be someone else here surely this that's what this means did whoever B is leave it here to be found and then also we can have we can kind of add a little bit more here by having a bit of di just a little line of dialogue saying B because then we can use that to lead into this line about thinking about B here and then that's it that's us that's us done the first section that's the first section done um, we haven't really done much in terms of changing it it's mostly just been a case of let's see what we have let's see what's there and then um, and then kind of turn it into a, a, a slightly something slightly tighter and something more suited for audio and kind of trying to find that balance between the um, the the the, read, the voiceover and the the character the, the sort of live character stuff um, so that's part one which is which is nice and easy um, and we're moving on to um, <laughs> I think we probably, like, I don't know how much is going to get rewritten. I would like another, um, kind of go at this. Uh, as much as, like, I guess this technically counts as the second draft. Um, uh, you just kind of, I, kind of, I guess this is the second draft, but I think having a, 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 a read-through with Mark on Wednesday will be very, um, very beneficial. Uh, just because it means that um, 
uh, it, it means that uh, I can kind of hear how it's going to sound. I can also time it to see if there's any anything, if some episodes are drastically longer than others. I don't really care about that, but at the same time, there, there is an argument to be made about consistency. Um, yeah, and then there's also a couple of things that I want to... Um, I want to try and work in like like I, we kind of did it at the beginning, working in the 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 suite into the answer into the into the writing. Uh, I don't think we're really getting that with ones just because it's mostly internal. Um, and then also in Act Five, you don't you don't you don't have a. Um, I suppose you've got a. You do have a card. You've got the magician, which we chose. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure. I am worried about episode five. I think it's going to be really short. Um, because yeah, this this is another thing I've been thinking about. Another thing I'm considering, right? Is rather than um sort of releasing it as a series, like potentially releasing it as like an audio feature. You know, or, or like a, a one-off episode, because uh, when when we release it, when when this is going to get released on Bandcamp first, and also to Kofi first as well, and then in that case it'll be, you know, sold as 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 individual tracks. Um, but then I think when we put it on the podcast feeds, I don't like having episodes that are less than five minutes, um, uh, or, or rather. I don't particularly care, but um, the network that we're on prefers that that things are over five minutes. It's not something. It's not something that's like make or break. But they, they've just they've just kind of said you want kind of things to be at least five minutes. Um, so uh, I'm kind of trying to aim for that, but it might work rather than having this kind of cut up story, having it as one long episode, because that's that's kind of what the Ten Can Audio presents feed is for is for experimenting with formatting and genre releases and stuff as well so that's just another, that's another thing we need to figure out it'll probably be a thing for editing the editing process or the very the very sort of end of the process i think um but uh, that's just another another thing to consider sorry i feel like i'm being very meandering today uh right So that, again, this is a this is a. Um, I think we'll probably make that a sound rather than than describing it. Because, so this okay. So this this is another thing. You don't really see it in audio drama now because culturally everyone's sort of learned, um, but you still kind of get it with people. But like you know they'll they'll they'll. This is a really good example of demonstrating what what used to happen a lot that you don't really see now. Uh, as far as I'm aware, uh, because I think culturally people have started to, to l learn how audio drama works. Um, you'd find audio dramas that, you know, you'd have something, have something like this where you'd have a sound playing. So in this case, the music continuing to play, the tape beginning to unspool, the sound coming from the cassette player being kind of starting to warp. But then they'd also have the narration. They'd also have the narration... Um, explaining the sound that they were hearing. So it meant the listener didn't hear the sound because there was narration over the top of it. Um, which was always funny to me. Um, again, you don't really hear it now because everyone's kind of culturally, generally learned and moved on. But uh, it's just, it's something that you just, you need that, just that extra step just to be like, oh wait, no, we can just communicate this through sound. Um, I think there's a certain element of trusting the listener as well, you know. Um, you know, in this case, the 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 sound coming from the cassette player kind of starting to warp is kind of, you know, kind of related to the character starting to feel anxious and sort of using that as a build. I think, um, you know, if you if you just have the sound, it's more powerful to to make with that comparison. Whereas if the character just describes it while the sound is being heard, it it it, it just it loses its effectiveness because uh, rather than letting um, 
uh, rather than just letting the sound happen and letting the listeners work out what's happening, it's being explained to them. Um, but yeah, that's that's something that used to kind of irk me a little bit. E. Gabrielle says my worst writing quality is editing as I go. Uh, uh, sorry, my worst quality is editing as I go instead of just getting it out. I'm very much the same. Um, I think I also kind of have conversely the the kind of other side of that problem, which is that I edit while I record. So sometimes I don't get all the coverage I should um, because I'm kind of like, oh, I'll just use all of like this. This is all good. Um, and then I'll get to the editing stage and I'll realize that either I've missed something out or I've mislabeled something or um, or or the very worst one is like there's just something I didn't catch in the recording and now I'm stuck with it because I was sort of like right you know this fine I'll just I'll just use this one but uh, but uh, yes hello Plalt thank you very much for being here ah yes I always wanted spoken captions for my audio drama I'm glad I'm glad you agree it's uh, <laughs> it's it's um it, I th like I said it's something that I think you know when I started making audio drama back in the distant days of 2016 uh, <laughs> um, so much stuff was you know they'd all start with somebody explaining why they were listening to an audio drama or why they were li why this particular story was being told through audio it was a lot of people going oh is this thing on oh I'm recording this on my phone because you know um, you know, having to build a framing device for why you could hear things. Um, and as much as I'm kind of, I mean, I realize that I'm part of the problem in that, you know, Tin Can was a series of logs and the tower is a series of phone calls. It's, uh, it's, uh, um, uh, it's kind of, you, I feel like people feel the need to don't don't feel the need as much to justify why they've made this story as an audio drama rather than as something else. Um, my friend Ella Watts put it really well, which was like, you know, when you watch a film or a TV show, you don't explain why there's a camera, you know? Um, but yeah, shut up, 2016 wasn't that long ago. It feels it. <laughs> uh, somebody pointed out that it was six years. No, was it six years? Yeah, six years since I started making audio drama. Which, which in the grand scheme of things isn't that long ago. Um, but it's nice to see the journey and kind of go, all right, okay, this is, let's, they've been doing this a while, but not too long, which is a nice way of putting it. Anyway, so I guess, I guess the lesson from that slightly, slightly meandering uh, um, chat there was, Trust your sound designer and trust your audience. Those are the two things. Um, I might actually put that in the workshop now. Because <laughs> um, that's, a, that's a good little tip. And then, yeah, we can just... Sitting up. Grabbing cassette player. Throwing it against the wall. Against the wall. It smashes. <laughs> so. So this this is where. This is uh, why um, this this is the part of the recording where Mark Galley doesn't have a good time. Because um, I'm going to get Mark to do a lot of breathing. Or no, no heavy breathing, panicked breathing, I guess. Uh, grabbing cassette, play grabbing the cassette. All right, fine. I'll put an article in there. Goddamn. It's the character. If it's the characters explaining to uh, some other character that they're making rec a recording, it's fine. But I don't need to know that you're recording a video. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly that. You know, like I don't think. Like... It feels almost a little bit like you're apologizing for the fact that it's an audio drama, and you should never apologize for making something ever. Like. Uh, okay. I'm just going to kind of keep the breathing continuing. Under all this, I think just keep this as a monologue because it's a very good little bit of dramatic writing. Um, uh, 
okay, give give Mark a bit of bit of a chance to do his thing. I am so excited about Mark Galley coming on board with this. Like, I'm very very. So Mark and I worked on a very short piece called "The First Time They Murdered Billy," which was like a, a short little experimental piece that I. It was a short story that I adapted, and uh, I was very very happy with it and and i i still maintain it's one of the better things i've made um but mark mark was the voice in that and it was a joy it was a joy to work with mark and and it's and it's always a joy to work with mark like bringing mark on for the tower was a fantastic kind of choice and um <laughs> mark is also the theorist of the cast <laughs> to the point where mark is like oh i think this is what's happening and I have to just be like, no, you're, you you shouldn't tell me these things because we could get in a lot of trouble <laughs> with it. Uh, okay. There's a sound. Oh, there's still music playing. Yeah, we're good. Uh, wind and... Oops. So that's a much shorter section, but the thing is, because it's a monologue, it'll kind of take up a bit more time. And also, just due to the nature of the monologue, I'm going to get Mark to, to really take his time with it. Um, I guess you could call us editing as I go along, but... <laughs> um, but yeah, I think... Um, I think with this... I think with the last two bits, I think... It's going to be really slow just because in this in this bit there's going to be music in the background that we can let kind of set a lot of the tone and then kind of this bit is kind of a bit of an audio set piece the the bit with the music continuing to play and the tape kind of starting to warp that's something that's a set piece that can take a while and then this monologue we can just kind of take up take our time with it as well so um that's that's all fine <laughs> um And then what happens now? I think I think this is the this is the bit where where there's where Mark gets to cry. Yeah. Okay. Let's get that board in there. Okay. Uh, so I'm kind of in two minds about the about the crying. <laughs> so I know that sounds that sounds quite strange because I think it might be too much, you know? I think it might jar with the tone of the piece because we're about to have we're basically going to extend this monologue, you know? <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to keep it in for now, but I think it's something I'll talk to Mark about on Wednesday. Uh, whether or not it works for the character or, or whether or not it's going to... Um, it's going to kind of break. Because it is a, there is a tone shift between this and then the next, the start of the next uh, act. So I, I think we might make this more of a, oh, I remember now, clarity rather than kind of a, a, a breakdown but that's that's these are the kind of horrible things you have to think about when you're doing this kind of thing it's a uh, um yeah it's not it's not fun <laughs> i hate this <laughs> so uh, again i the 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 I remember line, again, that's another one I might. I think I'm going to cut that. Just because, again, I think it's just, it's too, not as too obvious. I just think it's it's very, you know, drama. Like, oh, I remember. You know, it feels very, very ham, I guess. Um, but yeah, and then this monologue just gets to stay the same as well. Cat was coming in. I thought Papu was going to be joining us. Um, yeah, okay, fine. Uh, yeah, and I think I think I just we just let that let that play out. To be honest, have a have an extended monologue. Um, and just let that do its thing. 
I think I'm kind of kind of happy with that. Excellent. Yeah, so that's episode four. It only took us an hour. Uh, <laughs> most of that was me dilly dallying. Um, but yeah, okay. So we've got one more episode to do. That's very exciting. Um, yeah, I think just for the time being, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep these as episode one. Um, Yeah, I, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this. Why this is the thing I keep going back and forth on. Um, we don't need to put the we don't need to put titles in. We, oh, we don't we, <laughs> we don't need to put titles in. We can just we can just we just have that as text. We're not you know we don't do that with it. We don't we don't put episode names on the tower. We don't put episode names on the middle below. We just just do it. Um, I think that's what we'll do here. I think that's what we'll do for this, because um, then it means we just have the the voice at the start, which I think is is interesting. Um, and and the, the, these lines here will be taken from the audiobook, so it'll be it'll be Sam uh, Sam Lee's voice um, doing the audiobook for that, which is is a really cool thing. I think it's, I need to start chopping that up and doing the work there. Okay, um... Do we want to have a break? No, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Problem is now we need a name for episode five. <laughs> We don't currently have a name for it. Mm. Though your past may shape your experiences, your thoughts, your desires, but it does not define you. You are in control of your own path. The road ahead may be built from the stones that you've gathered, but these fragments of your past do not dictate where it leads. It is time to move forward. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, uh, let's get the let's get the game on the go. A remembrance of the past. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's do let's do the kind of typical thing here, and let's call the last the last episode anamnesis. Because I feel like there's there's kind of an emotional core there, you know. Hmm. I think we can maybe expand this episode, but I don't really know how at the moment. Other than just, just because I think it's going to be, I think, it, I think it's fine. I think it'll work. I think it'll be absolutely fine. It's just very short is my concern at the moment. Uh, but again, you'll also, I guess you're also going to have credits on the end. And um, the bit at the top, the top is, is a little bit more, um, it's a bit longer as well. So, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Oops. Whoops. So it's getting out of types today. Let's just keep this as a monologue for the time being. Can 
can I? That's better. Okay. Uh, I hit the same wind and rain as before. The same grey. Ooh, the same grey empty world. No, because I'm about to talk about um, the same grey space. The same old facsimile. Ah, facsimile. There we go. It's a good word, facsimile. The same strange facsimile of former life. Um, of ah, my forgotten world. I do a lot of repetition. I'm very aware that it's a problem. I do a lot of repetition. I'm aware it's a problem. Uh, okay, so there you go. That's that's a line we can cut. Um, we can replace that with sound. Creaky stairs. I, I genuinely don't think we need to do much to this episode, which is quite, which is quite, uh, <laughs> which is quite strange. Mm. We can put a lot of pauses in between these. Here's the thing. Oh, I'm worried about episode five. I'm worried about episode five being really short and being slightly too short. From we knew and dropped in, dropped in a, into another. Transplanted. They're just. I'm just editing them. Transplanted into another without any remembrance of what came before. Uh, but I remembered. I can remember there's a chance that others are number two and that they are also such. Uh... <sighs> yeah, I think this is mostly just going to be music. <laughs> Which is a future dev problem, frankly. There are many there are still many things I do not remember. Maybe I'll never remember. There are I think just take away the still, I think we can Maybe I'll never remember, but that is not what matters now. What matters is that I am here and that there may be others here and that I need to find them if they are. Uh, let's flip that around. And if they are. Does that work? Uh, what matters is that I am here and that there may be others here. And if they are, I need to find them. Mm, that doesn't make sense either. You know what? Let's put that back to where it was. What matters is that I am here, and that there may be others here, and that I need to find them. And that if there are others, 
There we go, I need to find. So it's a bit it's a bit clunkier, but that's something I can maybe work through with Mark. Mark is much better at writing than I am. <laughs> this world is strange. An empty reflection of a place filled with life, with knowledge, with hope. If we were able to make it here, maybe we together we can find a way back. I open the door to the wind and the rain. I feel like, oh, so that's the sound we need to put in there. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, footsteps. Uh, and then... Um, fade out. And then... And then the credits! And then that's it! That's our story! That's, that's our audio drama. That is our... How many pages is that? So it's 22... That's what, 12? 12, 12 pages? It's gonna be work. It's gonna be very, very short. But that's there is nothing wrong with short audio dramas. We stand a short king audio drama. I don't know. Um, cool. Okay. So, in terms of the sound design, there's actually not too. There's nothing too scary. Just looking at the script. So I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go through the script as I would as an as a sound designer, um, uh, or, or as a well, if I was doing if I was running a recording, what I would do is I'd go through and look at okay, how many perspectives are we going for? How many characters do we have? Uh, what are the? Do we have any interesting ways of distinguishing between, um, in this case? the voiceover and um, the, the sort of in-character stuff. If Mark was going to come over to record, I would potentially record Mark on two different microphones. So I'd have the, the voiceover stuff on one microphone and have the, the kind of in-character stuff on a different microphone. Um, because we're recording remotely, we're not going to be able to do that. Uh, we're just going to have Mark on one microphone. Um, it's a very good microphone. Um, it's a professional microphone. Um, not that you're not a professional microphone, um, but uh, it means that this, we're going to have to do that through sound design rather than through recording, uh, which is not which is not a bad thing in the slightest. Uh, it's just an extra thing we have to think about. Um, in terms of the actual sound effects, I don't think there's anything. It's going to be too scary. I think the. The echoing voices is going to be interesting from a sound design perspective. I think that's going to be very interesting to design, uh, and that depends on how many people, uh, how many people we get to send in echoes and things, and what we have to work with there. Um, I'm very. I still need to work out what I want people, what which bits of the book I want people to read. I think definitely this bit, um, and then uh, also maybe just kind of. Um, just reading some of the prompts, I think, more than anything. So, uh, at the very least, the prompts that we that we got while playing the game, uh, and just reading out and reading out the names of the cards that we got as well, I think, is interesting. And maybe some of the keywords uh, as well. Like, there's lots of keywords here that we can we can put in. I think I think that's interesting. I think we can just because we're using the tarot cards. I think that's an interesting. Uh, um, I think that's an interesting um, presents interesting opportunities when it comes to extra voices and extra echoes and extra sounds and things. I think that's interesting. Um, by the way, I will be making this document uh, available for anyone to use as reference. Uh, if uh, if you're just kind of curious about, rather than having to pause when I'm kind of scrolling through it and things, um, or to you know if you don't want to watch through the five hours worth of stream where we played the game um 
I will put this document up, so put on, online, and I'll make it accessible through the Tin Can Audio website, so um, you can kind of see uh, see where the story came from and how it evolved and how it changed from the um, the the playthrough between the playthrough and the script as well. Um, I am interested, like this this is another thing I am interested in taking the 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 audio from these streams and kind of maybe chopping them up or even the video and then maybe making like a, a kind of making of compilation I don't know like a highlights I don't know. these are all things that I need that I'll be thinking about later on um, uh, that's another thing I need to check the production timeline da, 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 da. and Reese's production schedule that's where we are so these 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 are all first draft now um, 14th. 14.09. No, that's wrong. 14.11. Yeah. Oops, nope. So these are all first draft. And these are now first draft. A making of would be fantastic. I missed pretty much everything before today. Well, uh, look at this. So, if you go to YouTube and see my utterly broken YouTube recommendations, um, <laughs> and you type in Tin Can Audio, and you go to Tin Can Audio, um, there should be a playlist. This. Oh is no, I'm playing the stream on stream. Oh no, I'm the worst. Uh, so, it's. There's a, uh, a, oh, go away, go away, go away. Uh, we have a, uh, a playlist, which I'll, I'll stick that in the chat just now, actually. Um, it's the best way to do that. Put that there. So that, that's, a, that's a link to all of the streams so far. Um, we've got two, the, the first two streams where we played the game, uh, and then um, the this stream will be up in the next couple of days uh and then the 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 writing as well you also get to see the evolution of my hair in real time <laughs> which is fascinating for everyone i'm sure um yes so what, what's next what do we have next on the on the production schedule yeah so next up we have we have the workshop which we'll be holding on wednesday which will be our next stream uh, I'll be doing that with Mark. Um, what we'll what we'll what we'll be doing on that stream, I kind of explained earlier, but I'll kind of go over it very quickly again. Is uh, first of all, me and Mark just get to hang out, which is nice. Um, but also, uh, we'll be going through the scripts. We'll be kind of running through it from start to finish. Be timing every episode, and um, seeing if there's any dialogue that needs tightening up, anything that needs expanded. Talking about the story, making notes as well. I'm also going to be sending this to uh, a couple of people. Um, who have experience in production um, and executive producing and have experience going over scripts and reading scripts and making notes um, and going over it that way and uh, and giving some notes as well. And, and I'll be working those into the story as well. I don't know if there'll be another writing stream. I think it would probably be useful uh, uh, before we go to record just because I don't think I'm going to be ready to record next week. Um just because I'm going to be coming back from London on Monday. So I don't want to jump, I don't want to get off the train on Monday and then jump straight into a recording because that's not helpful for anyone. Not good for anyone, especially me. Um, yeah. And also I need to start thinking about what kind of tone we're going for, what kind of vibe. Let's say... Yeah, that's kind of it, really. Like, I know, I know we're not, I'm not normally... Still got another sort of forty minutes of stream at the minimum left here, but we're we're kind of we're kind of done. Like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna kind of just have I think. Yeah, I'm still worried about episode five. I think episode five is the one I'm the most worried about, just because it's really short. Um, 
but at the same time we can do a lot with performance we can do a lot with music we can do a lot with sound design and in the end if it's if it's short it's short there's not not really anything we can do about that there's nothing wrong with it it's just it's just part of the part of the part of the fun part of the jam um and the deadline for this is the end of January, and so I'm I'm happy that we're now in the kind of still the start of November, or kind of middle of November, and um, we're ready to record. Because then it means we can we can really let dis use December and January to focus on writing and production. Uh, sorry, focus on recording, production, editing, that kind of thing, um, which I'm very very happy about. Uh, it gives us plenty of time. I think is the main thing. As much as Again, as much as I don't think there's any sound design here that's scary... Ugh, let's go through this from the beginning. So, internal room ambience, easy, got that. Wind and rain hitting a window, we have that as well. Uh, body sounds, yeah, that's fine. I'll get, I'll get Mark to... One of the things I'll record with Mark is just sort of action noises. So like the waking up sound, the getting up sound, that kind of thing. Um, just these little kind of breaths and things that that you, that that go a long way when it comes to the editing process. Um, wooden floor creaking, yeah, got that. Groans, yeah, I'll get Mark to groan. Um, anyway, uh, heavy robes, yeah, I've got those. Window sounds. That's. Uh, I need to. I need to come up with a way of. How am I doing that? Uh, voiceover stuff from somewhere, and he says something moving, coming through the floor. That that's going to be fun. Kind of ghost sound. You get to do that. Two heavy footsteps. Doors opening and closing. It's actually just because it's kind of based in the contemporary world. I don't need to do anything too clever. Um, do you record your own sounds? Use stock sounds or both? For the most part, I try and record my own. Uh, Obviously, if there's something that I don't have or I don't have access to, uh, I'll get those. Um, but I, I've, I've basically just got a big sound library that's constantly growing. Um, I use a lot of samples from places, um, and but I usually only really use them when I'm building up other things. For work outside of Tin Can Audio, I use a lot of stock sounds. Just because a lot of the time, when I'm writing stuff, I'm usually writing within my own limitations. Um, but uh, I kind of the stock sounds I have all come from like free libraries or like free samples of libraries. It's very rare for me to kind of pay for a sample library. Um, not that I think that's an inherently bad thing. It's just that because when I started, I didn't have any money, uh, and I kind of just kind of out of necessity um, recorded my own stuff. I'm at the stage now where I can afford to buy the odd sound pack. Um, but I'd, I'd kind of do that on a project by project basis rather than like, oh, I think it would be useful to have these sounds. Um, there is a, a anime, there, there is a sound effect pack called Anime that I've had my eye on for quite a while now. And I keep, I keep waiting for the project that lets me buy the Anime sound pack because I really want it. Um, I, to use in projects, yes, but also to figure out how they, how they make them, to listen to them and figure out how to, how to make my own. Because I love that kind of sound design. Um, I also have my, I also have my sound effect CDs. Uh, I've got three of them, and I've also got one that's just called Nature. Uh, David Pello got these. Got got um. David Pello got got these for me uh, years ago. They cost him four pounds for all four of them. They were a pound each. Uh, got them at a theatre closing down sale, and it was the best Christmas present I ever got. Um, that, it was a very, very, very good gift. Maybe that's one you just buy for you. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I should just, I should just buy the thing, right? But like, um, but I'm like that. With like, I, there's, I'm at the stage now. Where, so uh, a little bit behind the curtain. After the Tower Part Three finished. Um, because I was working on the Tower Part 3 for a few months and just the way the arts funding worked, it just meant that like for a couple of months I didn't have any money coming in. So I'm kind of, you know, not like in trouble, but like things are a little bit kind of lower than I would like them to be. Um, so I'm kind of waiting on that. So I'm at the stage now where I'm starting to kind of build back up again and my brain's just going, oh, you've got money coming in, time to make a big purchase of something. And like, no, no. 
Like, don't buy any more synthesizers. Don't buy any more sound packs. You don't need them right now. Um, the dangerous one for me is microphones. You know, I, 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 there's like four or five different microphones that I want to buy. I don't think they'll they'll change anything. It won't give me a new perspective on things. It'll just be another microphone I can use. Um, and that's just... Uh, <laughs> that's just the very tempting thing I'm having to, to try and ignore at the moment. Um, right, the sound effects. So... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, steps in a stairwell. I have, I have a really lovely sound for that, actually. Uh, front door, outside rain. Yep. Stone steps. Uh, I think I have those. Various voices, whispers. Yep. More walking. Again, these aren't these aren't scary, you know. These aren't scary sounds. I walk into a square into one's market. Still, uh, still lines of wooden stall set up. Some of them even appear to still have their wares on them, shielded from the rain by their awnings. Um, yep. So that's the, the yeah. I've, I've already got a sound for that. I have so many rain sounds. Hang on. Let me. Let me get open this up. Sound library. It says rain. So my rain folder. It has thirty-two. I have thirty-two different rain sounds that I've recorded. Uh, so I think we'll we'll definitely have something that'll work. Um, That's probably what I'll do for the rest of the stream. I'll kind of go through and I'll figure out what the extra lines are that we need we need to get recorded. Uh, let me talking. Who am I talking to? Uh, all these house sounds are not a problem. I think I, I do. I think I do have a have like a proper like old photograph that I can maybe use because um, my. My, my grandma, my grandma, right, has a digital camera. But every time I see her, she takes pictures on her digital camera, <coughs> and then she'll print them. She'll get them like properly printed on like photo paper, and then sent over to me. So I do actually have some some things like that. Um, collecting paper, yeah, I think I have. I think I have access to that. <laughs> um, Yep, that's all fine. Additional recordings. Yep. Turning page. I might actually use the Silent Hill. See, this is something I like doing. I like putting little sound effect Easter eggs in and like I might so for the turning page sound effect. I have all the sound files from Silent Hill 2, which I acquired through through definitely the legitimate means. Um and uh, I like throwing the odd one into into different projects. So in um in Folkslore, uh, a couple of the doors are the door sound effects from Silent Hill 2. Um, just because I thought that there's just a nice little touch. And I'll probably do the same thing here. Um, I have to record that twice. That's fine. Rain and wind. Yeah, got that. That's easy. That's going to be a tricky one to do, but like that's not too bad. Uh, yep. That's a set piece. I can record that in one go. That's fine. Uh, this bit's going to be tricky. I think the, the smashing's going to be difficult, but I, th I think I have enough stuff that I can make that work. It'll be a composite of different sounds, I think. Um, and then everything else is just the front door. Okay, uh, let's... Uh, let's make this. Let's... Let's go down here. Oh, uh, additional lines to record. So, we need a full voice. Let's do this by episode. Um, 
uh, voice lines. I kind of knew, uh, I kind of have an idea of how those are going to work. I just need to double check with the person. Um, Oops. I want as many instances of people saying anamnesis as possible because uh, I like that. Um, so we'll call that uh, community recordings. And sorry, I'm aware you're just here for admin for the next half an hour. I hope that's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so that yeah, the, these these two are fine. Um, Sam, hello, hello, Goblin Mixtape. Thank you so much for coming along. Uh, I was literally, yeah, I'm just doing additional stuff uh, now. I'm just working out uh, what the extra lines are going to be and stuff. So it's going to be rather slightly dull uh, admin for the next half an hour. Um, I uh, also I, I I need to message you about something which I'll be doing after the stream, but it's it's just about something for the for the recording. Um, so just a heads up there. <laughs> Hope your weekend was nice. My weekend was very busy, so it's why I'm a little bit like woof today, um, and it's why this stream is a bit shorter. Uh, just because I was I was recording on a film set, and it was very very long. It was very long and very tiring. It was indoors as well. Anyway, sorry, I'm just, I'm. Flagging a bit. Random thought. I love hearing your keyboard click clack. So it's a it's a mechanical keyboard. So it's got really kind of big thick keys. Um, so you you build you know muscles rather than getting carpal tunnel syndrome, which I also have anyway. So it's fine. That sounds exciting. Hope you can get some rest though. Yeah. Well, I, I'm I I had a rest today and I don't have a lot of work on this week. So that's. It's not so bad. I'm, I'm, I'm looking after myself is the important thing. Uh, community recordings. What do we also have on episode one? Um, yep, yeah, that's fine. Uh, various voices, whispers. Right, that's what we need. Um, I'm, I'm going to format this slightly differently. So, community recordings. Uh, so, what do we need? We need an amnesis. Uh, and then we need. Um, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to use these as the whispers. I'm going to get people to record these. Um, So like we can have, because I, I like I really like the idea of um, somebody reading out these lines, like lots of different voices reading these, reading like this the 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 prompt here, and then um, I think that will be enough. Um, but I also think uh, potentially just having people reading individual words here, I think will also be interesting. When it comes to, uh... oops, just when it comes to building the soundscape, I think that's. I think it just creates an interest. Oh no, I've already got justice in the in the other one. Um... Yeah, I think I think that's just an interesting little, uh... interesting little tidbit we can have. Because uh, what else do we have? No, that's not what I meant to do at all. Ah. Yes, yeah, so this this is just gonna be a, an ASMR keyboard stream for the, rest the, for the rest of the thing. Thank you. 
yeah, and I'll probably make these line up with with where they appear in the in the thing. Yeah, I think this is going to be enough just because it's... Um, so that was death. That was the High Priestess. change that to so basically whenever you hear <clears throat> whenever you hear like uh where's it gone whenever you hear these very what I'm, what I'm describing as various voices and whispers you'll have people basically you know saying things like like the prompts that that the the story is responding to but then also these kind of keywords from the definitions um so it means that it's kind of it creates a slightly ethereal effect of like the game being a part of the narrative which i really like which i think will kind of also be emphasized for having these clips from the the audiobook version of the game at the top of each episode um so yeah i think i think that's going to have an interesting an interesting effect on 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 the narrative and i think it, it means that the game is also an integral part of the story which I think is an interesting touch and an interesting kind of way to go with it. Um, whether it works, I don't know, but uh, hopefully, I, I, I'm optimistic. Uh, great optimism. Uh, okay. Pop that down here. So yeah, so the way the way this will work is that I will um, I'll mess it, I'll post about this on the Tin Can Audio Discord, and I'll also post about it on our Kofi, where um, basically I, I will send this list out, and then people can record as much or as little as they like, um, and then uh, and then I'll get a couple of other people involved as well, uh, a couple of kind of friends and other actors that I know who I know have home recording setups uh, to kind of just fire these out as well just so uh, just so we have everything and then it means we just have this interesting kind of spread of voices and different options and things and I, I think it's it's really cool like I love the idea of having listeners and supporters involved in this project as well I think that's that's fun and yeah um Okay, see notes of yourself. Yeah, I think it's gonna be very interesting having just this, just like this this little whispery voice called the devil, you know. Or we can do the um, have like the the black and white sound effect where where you just hear this thing go death very occasionally, which I think was the best part of that game was the sound design. Anyway. Oh, I think I've missed a... Oh, I've missed the question. Okay. Let's have a look. Is that all the cups? No. Because I know some of these repeat because we got the same card a couple of times. I think we got the chariot a few times actually. So I'm just making sure that that's. Because we can maybe also um, potentially have. 
these recordings be a much bigger part of, of the soundscape and kind of have them very quietly, maybe in the wind and things as well. Kind of like what we did with the tower and also like uh, the, the um, uh, was it Between, I think it was called? Uh, yeah, Between, the the, um, the Sid Briscoe's initial episode for folk, pilot episode for Folklore uh, on the subway where you have lots of little different lines, different parts of the soundscape kind of consistently going on throughout the throughout the narrative um i like that idea for doing that with this as well um so cups the chariot yeah, we've done death already i can just do that and oh, we've done the chariot already as well so that's that's fine we can just copy these down Wands, so what was you guys are crying, that's the devil again, which we've already done. That gets copied down. And then I think that's that's all the lines we need to record for it, so sweet. No, what am I doing? Okay. And then I'll get people to read what was I going to uh, the notes, wasn't it? Um I thought there was a point where Oh yeah, there we go. That was the Uh that was the other thing I wanted to put in there, the definition of anamnesis from the Uh, from the book. And then also the recollection of innate knowledge from our previous existence. Excellent. So that that's a lot. That is a lot of dialogue. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, that's a lot, but at the same time, like, I'm going to make it very clear that people can record as much or as little as they like. Um, oof, that is that is a lot. That's because I'll also be doing these as well. I'll also have my voice in there as well for these. Um, but yeah, fantastic. Okay, right. Uh, I think I'm going to call the stream here. Uh, just because I've kind of done everything that I set out to do today and I feel like I've kind of padded enough, frankly. Um, but thank you so much for being here. So um, if you... Uh, on Wednesday, we'll be I'll be here with Mark. I'll be joined by Mark Galley, who is going to be our main uh, our main actor for this, who's going to be doing... Who's going to be doing... Um, who's, who's going to be our main uh, cast member, is going to be the character narrating everything. Uh, we're going to be doing a read through and also kind of doing some R and D on the script, uh, and then um, after that we'll be starting the recording process. So we're kind of we're, we're barreling through this really quickly, which is very very good. Um, uh, I'll be posting about this these extra lines tomorrow. Uh, I'll be posting uh, on Kofi and I'll be posting in the Discord about it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, if you uh, if you're interested in supporting us, uh, we have a Kofi. Um, and if you're interested in finding out more about what we do, we have there's a link to our website in the chat. Um, so yeah, we'll be starting on that next. Oh, we're doing a read th read through on Wednesday, and then starting on recording next week. Ooh, that's jolly exciting. That's very scary. I can't believe I just said the word jolly. You can tell I'm tired. Anyway. So yes, that is that is what to look forward to on Wednesday. Uh, it's going to be a really fun time. Uh, like, whenever I have guests on the stream, I feel like it's always a good time because um, I've just generally got a bit more energy. And Mark is full of energy and is also very cool. Um, 
So thank you very much for coming along tonight. Thank you very much for sticking around. Uh, I'm aware it's a much shorter stream tonight. Um, but we have a script. We have the first draft of a script um, for, for an audio drama. We have an audio drama script now. Now it's just a case of making the damn thing. Um, so, yeah, thanks so much for being here. I hope you stick around. I, I hope to see you back here on Wednesday. But if, otherwise, um, I hope you have a fantastic week. Um, I hope... Uh, and uh, yeah, I hope we'll hopefully see you on Wednesday. I'm going to go sleep for a while. <laughs> okay, good night. <laughs>